Scott here with UA Lawn Care. I wanted to talk to you guys about different ways of marketing. Uh, we got six different ways of marketing we're going to talk about. Besides your website, you should already have a website, your SEO uh, worked out, uh, Google AdWords or another online marketing company helping you to uh, present yourself online. Uh, number one is Angie's List. Um, should you use them or should you not? Um, to me, I would not use Angie's List uh, for a number of reasons. Um, a lot of customers use uh, Angie's List and uh, a lot of times you might have to give free work where you shouldn't have to give free work um, just to make the customer give you a higher rating. Um, you should already provide uh, quality work and all that without the fear of the customer uh, giving you a bad rating and that reflects in your overall Angie's uh, list uh, listing. Uh, number two is YP, which is yellowpages.com. Um, it's a way of marketing that you can put good use and uh, get online and uh, you'd have a, a presence in uh, where many people traditionally go is the yellow pages. Um, that's where a lot of small businesses get a free listing. Um, it doesn't hurt to advertise to them. Um, Thumbtack uh, for the lawn care business, it's a fantastic way. It's a service oriented um, way of bidding uh, up to five bids with other lawn care companies. So um, if you're in the top five, uh, you get the opportunity to bid. It's, um, it's probably, depending on what kind of lead you're looking for, it can be $5 for a lawn lead, which is fantastic. It doesn't guarantee that you get it, but if you're the lowest bidder, you win usually. Um, number four is a company, a website I really like. It's called porch.com. And uh, you can find an online coupon to get your first 100 leads for free. Sorry, your first yeah, your first hundred leads for free. So you get a voucher for about a hundred dollars for leads. So let's say you're looking for lawn mowing, trimming, uh, something like that, kind of a lead. Um, then typically the price is about twelve dollars per lead. So you're saving yourself money, and uh, compared to other sites that charge you more, it's uh, pay as you go. So for you can get about. Uh, seven leads for a hundred dollars so that, that's not bad your first uh, seven leads hundred dollars hundred dollars uh, just to get started in the lawn business that, that's fantastic uh, number five is Craigslist uh, for the price uh, you don't pay anything all you have to do is uh, take your time and uh, post a uh, ad in Craigslist I typically uh, post it in uh, several different areas like small business ad um, once again, it's free and you generate probably one or two uh, calls per lead or per uh, ad listing. Um, number six is Home Advisor. Home Advisor, uh, some people really think that is a uh, great website to go use. I would recommend not using it because uh, you got a $250 uh, membership fee. Um, I'm not too sure about you, but I shouldn't have to pay uh, $250 to join your your um, group um, when there are other sites like Craigslist, Porch, Thumbtack, Yellow Pages to uh, go and buy leads. Advertise on there. You don't have to pay $250. And their leads typically start out about $15 per lead for lawn mowing. For other leads, it will be more. Um, so it's up to you if you use a home advisor. I wouldn't, I don't use it. Uh, a lot of my friends have uh, been in business for a long time uh, before they started charging the membership fee, uh, have used it, and uh, have been a, it's been a tremendous uh, part of their business. So it really depends on you. But for a newbie, uh, I would skip that right away. Uh, use Craigslist and Porch. And once again, Craigslist is free. Porch gives you $100 towards uh, buying ads. Uh, 
Um, there are, are many other websites that you can go use that will uh, get you online or get you an opportunity to get in front of people. You can buy leads. So remember, marketing is always the way to grow your business. There's different ways of growing your business or increasing uh, revenue. Uh, one way is to uh, obviously add more clients. Another way is raising your prices. But I think it's always best to uh, go out and acquire new uh, customers, new happy customers, versus going and buying customers or a customer list or another business. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the video. And um, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again.